Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now onto the video. What's up you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also smash that like button. So today we are going to talk about all of my self-care habits that I feel like really help me be my most productive self. A lot of times when we think about self-care, we think about a face mask, a glass of wine, a book, but there are so many other things that go into just making sure that you're being super healthy, super productive, and really taking care of yourself. And when I say really healthy, I don't mean eating your broccoli, eating your vegetables. That's important too. However, I mean healthy mind, healthy spirit, really inner health. So I really want to talk to you guys about what I do to make sure I keep all of that balanced. Okay, I know I just said we're talking more about mental health and mental peace, but good physical health really does trigger good mental health. So I make sure I get my workouts in. I work out at least three times a week. Three is my minimum. I try to go for four or five if I can, but three is really my minimum. And over the years, I've had to think about about exercising in a different way. So before I would say, oh my God, I'm not losing weight. I'm not getting the results that I wanna get. I should just stop exercising and I would just cut out my program altogether. But what I found is that me exercising just feels so good. Whether I'm losing weight, gaining weight, whatever, just me going to the gym and getting whatever I need to get out, out, getting that aggression out, that stress from the entire week and taking it out in the gym is really helpful to clear my mind and just help me be more focused. Fun fact, 76% of rich people actually work out at least 30 minutes per day. So there must be something to that. I, I really feel like my mind is just clear and I'm ready to take on the day if I work out or I have a workout scheduled. Usually I try to work out in the morning, but like a day like today, I was super busy in the morning, so I have to get my workout in in the afternoon. But I'm very excited for it, I'm pumped up, and I'm ready to go. Physical health is so important. Just to throw something else in there as well, habits and discipline are also important because when I go work out, I have a routine. I have a shoe rotation in where I rotate which shoes I'm going to wear for the day so I'm not wearing one for too many days in a row. I feel like when I do that, my feet hurts, so I rotate out my shoes. I also have to drink my BCAAs before I work out. It just, it just gets me ready for the workout, hydrates my body, and makes me feel good. So so whatever you have to put in place to get those things done, make sure you get them done. Physical health is definitely well. Another self-care habit that's so important to me is skincare. When you look good, when your skin is all nice and glowy, then you feel good. And it just helps you tackle the day that much better and become that much more productive because you have an air of confidence about you. You have a little pep in your step, okay? So lately, I have been using a new skincare line from the brand Radiant Glow Botanical. And I've actually been really, really loving their products. I actually grabbed them from Look Fantastic. I will make sure that all the products are linked down below. So I've been using the entire line. I have the face wash. I have the toner the botanical facial scrub, which is seriously my favorite product and then I also have the anti-blemish brightener and this is a moisturizer this is such a nice moisturizer for underneath your makeup i actually used it today it's such a great moisturizer under your makeup because your skin is just nice and soft and supple and ready for the next step in your routine every time i use that stuff again my skin is just so radiant it's so glowy and i just love the way it looks that a lot of times i don't put on makeup or i will put on very light makeup something that i have been doing lately is doing my skincare and then using this kevin aquan glass glow face illuminator and this is really nice because you can put it all over your face that's a lot um 
to me that's a lot in my opinion but i'll just put it on the high points of my cheeks i use some today but a lot of times i will use this without makeup i'll put it on the high points of my cheeks and it really just looks like i have this glowy but not greasy complexion let's let's clarify that we don't look greasy but we look very glowy very summery and it, it just makes for a gorgeous look so i have been loving that lately i've also been loving their body lotion for daytime this is the um radiant glow botanical botanical body lotion and it's very moisturizing it's for all skin types i have been using this a lot and been really loving it so all of those products will be linked down below in the description box if you guys want to check out their line also that kevin aquan illuminator i love it on top of that i feel like no skincare routine is complete without a good face mask i've been going back to my foreo what is it the foreo luna 3 ufo luna 3 i don't know i will link it down below but i've been going back to that lately just because y'all i don't have time to do a 20 minute face mask sometimes or let's not say i don't have time i don't like to make the time to do a long 20 minute face mask so the foreo is really nice because it's timed it's like 60 seconds or 90 seconds it heats up and my skin ugh, my skin is so soft and just looks so good after that they have different types of masks that you can use i will have some of my favorite ones down below and i i absolutely love that little guy i love that device but skincare skincare has definitely been at the top of my list lately now with skincare also comes body care. So whether that be you soaking in a nice relaxing bath or taking a long shower, just really letting that steam hit you, using your favorite body care products, all of those things count. I actually just recently took the first bath that I've taken in a very long time. We have this great tub upstairs in our master bath and I've never used it in almost a year. So I decided to go ahead and try out a bath because I was so anti bath, but I took a bath and it was just really nice and relaxing. I did take a shower afterwards though. I always like I have to in my mind as I was sitting in it, I'm like, I have to take like a quick shower afterwards just to rinse off. But I took the bath. I was in there for about 30 minutes and it was pretty relaxing just sitting in there I had the candles burning I had the room smelling all good I was watching a show on my iPad and it was pretty awesome so I would definitely recommend doing that once at least once every once in a while just to just to get your mental right block everybody out kick everybody out the bathroom Take 30 minutes for yourself, whether you're going to bathe or shower, let the steam hit you and just really sit there and relax. The next habit that I have that I think is really a form of self-care as well, it's another appearance habit, but again, I think appearance is very important, not just for other people, but also for how you feel about yourself. Doing things like going to get your nails done, if you want to go get your makeup done, getting a pedicure, doing your lashes. Things like that, again, really just help you feel more confident and ready to tackle whatever it is you need to tackle for the day. So I've had this thing ever since we've been working from home, I've really been trying to get dressed on a daily basis. Before the pandemic, I would work for home, from home one or two days a week and I would not get dressed on those days. I would stay in my pajamas and that would just be what I would do. But it was fine because I was getting dressed every other day to go to the office. Now that that's not the case, I feel like more than ever, I have to get up, shower, and get dressed for the day. I can't function if I'm just sitting there in pajamas all day. It is very important for me. Sometimes I will just do my get up, get dressed, do my makeup, do my full skincare routine like I would do if I was going to the office just because that makes me feel good even though I'm just sitting at home. It makes me just feel like I'm working and become more productive. Reading and journaling is also another form of self-care. Reading 
is a form of relaxation. Self-care, in my opinion, not only are you gaining knowledge, but you're also kind of immersing yourself in the world of whatever book you are reading or audio book you're listening to, and you're not in your world anymore. You're in their world, and if it's a good book, and it just feels good to sometimes step out of your own body, step out of your own situations, and get into another world and another life. You can also gain knowledge from reading as we all know you guys y'all know I've been reading a lot this year and so my thing has been habits I have been trying to get my hands on every single thing that I can read about habits currently I'm reading the book tiny habits and it's just it's it's a great book I've read atomic habits as you guys know and I'm gonna read the power of habit next those things are really fueling my fire and I feel like really helping me see things in a different light. Coupled with that is also journaling. Journaling is something new to me this year, but really helps me get the thoughts out of my head. So I used to journal in the morning and in the evening. I do have like a six minute journal. I still do that every once in a while when I feel like my head is really jumbled. I just don't do it daily. However, for me, journaling more so at night is very helpful because I can do a full brain dump before I go to bed. If there are things on my mind about what I need to do the next day, if I just need to jot down a quick, messy, dirty to-do list so I don't forget things, if I have a video idea that's stuck in my head or a real idea that I want to put on paper really quick I do a very quick brain dump and then I can go to sleep super relaxed knowing that everything that I need to do the next day or whenever is on paper and my brain doesn't have to retain it all doing a brain dump is quite possibly one of the best things that I've started doing because it just helps me sleep more relaxed at night and then, of course, you guys know a to-do list was going to be one of my habits. To-do lists are something that I have been doing since I was a little girl. I have always been a list maker. I make lists for everything. We're going on a trip, so I have a packing list. I mean, of every single little thing down to the most minute detail that I can get. I have it written down because I feel like if it's not written down, then I will forget it. Not only does writing things down, obviously it has it on paper so you can do a quick glance and see what you need to do, but it also helps you remember things. When you write things out, sometimes you don't even need the list because you can remember it. However, I still write things out just to be safe. It makes me feel good. I have little lists all around the house of things that I need to do, things that I wanna do. Like I said, video ideas, um, things that I want to film in October, things that I want to do in 2023, like all of that stuff is around the house and I have lists everywhere. And it drives Mark crazy, but it's what keeps me sane. And self-care is all about what you can do to keep yourself sane, to make you become your best self. So even if it's crazy to everybody else, whatever makes you feel good, that's what you do. Last but not least is something that I have trouble with, but I've been doing a lot better with lately, and that is getting proper rest. I know. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know that I am a night owl. Owl. A night owl. I will stay up until two o'clock in the morning, editing, working, filming, whatever the case, I'll be up doing it. So whatever I can be doing at night, I will do. I've tried the whole morning person thing. I'm just not a morning person. I'm not. I can wake up. I think 7 a.m. is reasonable, but anything before then, I was actually doing it while I was pregnant and it was pretty simple. Like it was fine for me. But ever since I had the baby, it's just like I can't do that anymore. Anything before 7 a.m. I feel like is an ungodly hour, but it works for some people. So if it works for you, that's amazing. Just does not work for me. So I have found that I work better at night. So that being said, sometimes rest gets put on the back burner. However, we ain't doing that no more. We're not doing that anymore. We are getting our proper rest and our proper sleep. It doesn't do you any good to be up during the day. However, tired as hell, can't focus, don't have the strength to even keep your eyes open, but you're trying to get work done and you're trying to be productive. You look tired, everyone can tell you're tired, 
and it's just not good it's not good for you it's not good for your mental health it's not good for your physical health so in order to try to get more rest i've been doing more of the wind down method it's my own wind down method and i will have a glass of wine by my bedside you can have some water whatever you desire i desire a glass of wine and I don't do it every night, but probably three to four times a week. Once 11 o'clock rolls around, that's when I know it's time to, to do so. I'll sip on the wine, I will close my computer, and I will pick however many pages I wanna read in my current book. Usually I say, I'm gonna read a chapter, and then I'm gonna go to bed. By the time the chapter is over or almost over, I'm usually sleepy and ready to go to bed. It helps not having that TV on, not having the computer on. I'm just really reading the book. I'm still actively reading. However, when I read, especially I'll, I'll try to read something lighter at night and it just really helps my brain calm down and wind down. I've already done my brain dump. I've already gotten as much work as I'm gonna get done throughout the day. And at this point, I can just relax and get ready to go to sleep. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It gave you some self-care, motivation, and ideas. If you have something that you do for self-care, make sure you let us all know down below in the comment section. I would love to add something to my self-care habits and routine. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.